Like and subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to get new video updates. Fanatics become official on ice outfitter of the NHL 2024-25. This will mark the first time the Fanatics logo will appear on game uniforms in professional sports. But the company has made Major League Baseball game uniforms with the Nike logo since 2017 and has made the NHL Authentic Pro line of official performance since 2018. And training apparel and headgear worn by players, coaches and staff. Fanatics partnership with the NHL has evolved over the past two decades and includes NHL e-commerce and retail stores, fan apparel and headwear, replica jerseys, licensed memorabilia, performance and training products, clothing and headwear for Stanley Cup on ice champions, and now official ice uniforms for players, and authentic jerseys, for fans. This expansion of our partnership with Fanatics, reflects our shared commitment to innovation, performance and the service to our players and fans, said NHL Commissioner George Rye Bettman. Our players and fans should look forward to what will bring Fanatics to the best uniforms in all sports. Michael Rubin, CEO of Fanatics, called it a pioneering moment in the company's history and a testament to the practical collaborative relationship that it has built with the NHL over the years. I can't wait to see our brand on official on ice uniforms for the first time, said Rubin. Adidas has been the official outfitter of the NHL since 2017, four on ice uniforms minus 18, and will finish next season strong, said Brian Jennings, NHL Senior Executive Vice President of Marketing and Chief Branding Officer Jennings designed the jerseys for the 2023 Tim Hortons NHL Heritage Classic between the Calgary Flames and the Edmonton Oilers at Commonwealth Stadium in Edmonton, seen on October 29th and the Discover NHL Winter Classic 2024, between the Vegas Golden Knights and Seattle Crake in a T-Mobile Park in Seattle on January 1st. He helped design the jerseys for the 2024 Honda NHL All-Star Game at Skataba NK Arena in Toronto on February 3rd. We're going to do some incredible things next year too.